Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to create a box and whisker plot. So this is how to create a box and whisker plot. We start with a set of data, a bunch of numbers, right? And hopefully you have them in order. If not, you're going to have to put them in order. Um, that's just the way that you have to do it. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to find five important numbers. And we call this set the five number summary. And it consists of five special numbers, the minimum, the lower quartile, the median, the upper quartile, and the maximum. Now, I know you probably don't understand or never heard of a couple of those. And so I'm going to try to explain what everything means. OK, so this is the way I teach my students to do it. Um, I first find the minimum, and that's the lowest number in the set of data, OK, two. Then I find the maximum, which is the highest number. And then I find the median, the one that's right in the middle of this data. So if I count from the outside in with both fingers, I end up right there on 25. And so 25 happens to be my median. OK, now the quartiles. The lower quartile is the halfway point on the lower half. OK, so if you look at that lower half and notice that I don't include 25 in that data. I go just to the left of it. So it goes from 2 to 21. And the midpoint or middle, the median of that set of data is right there. It's 10. OK. Then I go up to the top half, and I find the middle number here. And it turns out to be 41. And so this is my upper quartile. Those are the five numbers. So here are your five important numbers, and this is the names of them. So we have the minimum is 2, the lower quartile is 10, the median is 25, the upper quartile is 41, and the maximum is 55. Okay, next step. We are going to actually create the box plot. So first we have to make a number line. And so I made my number line from 0 to 60, and I went by 10s although the tick marks go by five. And um, the reason I picked zero and 60 was because I looked at the low number and the high number, two and 55, and I go just below two and just above 55, and I get zero and 60. And so um, you can make your number line any way you want. You just want to make sure that you get all of your data spread out in, in your on your number line. So our next steps are to plot these points these numbers on the number line. So we start with 2, then we have 10, then 25, 41, and 55. Okay, so I have my students first mark it on the number line. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take the points and put them above the number line like this. And we put them all in a line. Okay, so make sure they all match up. I tried to get them as close as possible. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a line between the left side points and put a line on the right side points. These are your whiskers. And then we're going to put the boxes in the middle. And so um, that's really one big box with uh, the line down the middle going through the median. Um, but sometimes when I make them, I just put two boxes like that. And so this is a, a complete box and whisker plot. OK, so let's try another example. This one I made uh, special so that uh, some things would happen in it that that didn't occur in the last problem. So remember, we're trying to find our five number summary first. And so we first start with the minimum. Then we go to the maximum. Those are the easy ones. And then the median. And the median, if you count from left and right all the way to the middle, that's your middle right there. It goes between 29 and 38. Well, what does that mean? That means you have to find the, the number between those two. And the easiest way to do it is to find the average. Take 29 and add it to 38 and then divide them by 2. And you will get 33.5. Then you look at the lower half. And if you'll notice this time, I actually have 29 included. Because the median goes down between those two numbers, we're going to use those numbers on their respective side. So I'm going to find the middle point of the lower 
half, and it comes between 19 and 22. And so I add the two together and divide by two, and I get 20.5. Then I go up to the upper half, find the middle number. It goes between 50 and 58, and that is a nice easy number, 54. So now we have all of our numbers, and so I'm going to bring my 12 down and 76 down to organize it, and I'll put my uh, the names of each one of those. 12 is minimum, 20.5 is lower quartile, 33.5 is median, 54 is upper quartile, and 76 is maximum. We then go to our next step. We make a number line. And so these numbers go from 12 all the way to 76. And so I go just below and just above. And so the easiest way for me was to go by tens, go from 10 to 80. So I'd cover everything and it would go almost to the ends of the number line. So I plot my five numbers, 12, 20.5, 33.5, 56.5, Seventy-six. Then I'm going to put my points above the uh, number line. Now I'm going to make my whisker on the left and my whisker on the right, and then my boxes in the middle. And it's that easy. Now I know this was a uh, a lot. It was only two problems, but it gave you everything you need. If you have to watch it over again, I completely understand to get some practice on it. Um, now. One thing that I didn't go over in this is what do box and whisker plots mean and, and how do you interpret it and why do people make box and whisker plots? Um, well, I made another video called how to interpret box and whisker plots and uh, it gives that explanation of why we use them and, and you'll learn that there's, there actually a, is a, a real reason and pretty cool reason why they use those. So I hope you learned something and uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.